What if elevator buttons in Style Citizen were honest? What if naughty substances had a special marker when you tracted them so that new players knew that they were risky cargo? What if ship components had their class and grade as a tooltip? And what if? What if? By some miracle quality of life alteration, you could have your favourite ship at the top of your fleet manager list. Well, dear citizen, in something that will come as no shock to our non-native English speakers, all of these things are entirely possible, using a CIG-supported method providing community translations. But wait, not only is it possible, it's been done. I will obviously caveat all of this by saying, use at your own risk. CIG very clearly stated that the usage of localization files is done at your own discretion. Redditor Asphalt Expert put up a post earlier today with their modified localization file to include contextual information for all ship components. And this teleported me back to 2023 when it was first officially supported by CIG and I was thankful then that the post was made right after Pirate Week, because my first thought was pirate speak? Thankfully, we're here again, right after that fine time of yar. Initially, I thought to tweak Asphalt Expert's tooltips to be a bit more trimmed down and prefixing the part name to make it easier at a glance for those who don't have an encyclopedic knowledge of components or who don't want to constantly alt-tab to a third-party website. Then I saw there was already an alternative that had done just that. So I decided to throw an exclamation mark prefix on Disco Biscuits instead. Now any normal creator would wrap it up, cut it and post it as is. But unfortunately my brain doesn't quite work that way because lo and behold the fleet manager organises by the value string and not the key. I don't begin to understand quite why it works that way. But by Jingo, it's time to run with it. So I've given the merge tool from Asphalt Experts repo a bit of piss and vinegar, some sanity checking and clear definitions, and I've also included all current vehicle name strings in their own file. There's also some example strings in the target strings file. You can set it to write directly to your install folder by editing the .ps1 file right at the top, or just leave it as default and it will output to a merged .ini for you to copy and rename yourself. The installation of translations is relatively straightforward. Just navigate to your Star Citizen Live install folder, and if you already have a user.cfg file, add the line g underscore language equals English, and if you don't have a user.cfg, then I've provided an example file. Just drop that into your folder and rename it, or create your own. My zhuzhed up version of their tool and Asphalt Experts Reddit thread are linked down below, so be sure to go and give them some firm updoots. If you're an old hand at the localization file, or if you've just discovered this today, let us know what other quality of life changes you've made whilst we wait for CIG to do it natively. Until the next one, fellow citizens, fly safe and beware the bugs. <laughs>